for year three and four, we're reading part three of the Manfish today. On a warm summer's day, Jack stepped into the blue Mediterranean Sea with his new invention. He called it the Aqualung, because aqua means water, and our lungs are the part of the body that holds the air we breathe. Below the surface, Jack swam and glided and dove. He flipped and somersaults. He stood upside down on one finger and laughed bubbles into the sea. Jack could breathe beneath the water. Now he could swim across miles of ocean, his body feeling what only scales had felt, his eyes seeing what only fish had seen. The water made him feel like he was flying, just like in his dreams. Jack had done it. He had become a man fish. Jack was ready to explore the oceans of the world. He needed a boat and found a big old wooden navy ship named Calypso. In a year, he turned it from a warship into an explorer's ship. Jacques, Philippe and Didi gathered a crew, their aqualungs, their hopes and their dreams, and set off to explore the inside of the sea, to film a world that no one had ever seen before. On their journeys, they dove deep into a seascape of plants, Green and purple prickly plants, red branchy plants, spongy plants, wispy feathery swaying plants, slow dancing to the rhythms of the sea. They discovered plants that could feed you, plants that could poison you, plants that looked like fish, and fish that looked like plants. They swam with giant whales, hitched rides, rides on sea turtles, and made friends with porpoise with shining eyes and smiling faces. They filmed fierce and frightening sharks, so strange and dangerous, Jacques and his crew had to build cages, not for the sharks, but for themselves, so they could make their movies without being eaten. Their cameras captured camouflaged scorpion fish, ugly as toads with poisonous spines, Dorado's brilliant shining fish, that glowed the colours of emeralds, sapphires and rubies. Checkerboard fish with red and white cheeks from head to tail. Deep down they discovered a kingdom of giant rays, fish that fly through the water with wings that swim. They came face to face with a fish as big as a truck, with long fangs, lips like giant tyres and huge saucer eyes. They called it the trunk fish. On the bottom, they found pink ghost crabs with eyes on long stalks buried so deep in the sand that they looked like a, like a garden of eyes. And fleet fish with heads like horses and bodies the shape of tubes sticking out of rocky openings like pencils in a cup. Thank you for watching. Come back tomorrow for part four. <laughs>